Zealand's Manuka honey story begins with the humble honeybee, harvesting nectar from Manuka flowers in locations throughout rural New Zealand. New Zealand's soil, climate and global location are all important factors that give New Zealand's native Manuka tree its unique properties and make honey produced from its flowers popular worldwide. We're in a remote part of Northland in a beekeeping area for the Manuka honey. And this is uh, our operation here. The boys are downloading a, a bee frame to, to blow out the, the honey, the bees out of their bee boxes. They're about to pull some beehives apart. Over there you might notice that they're using a bit of smoke that uh, quietens the bees down. Hopefully we don't get too much activity there this morning. So every hive the, the boys check to make sure every time they take something off they check to make sure there's no diseases. This is uh, what we use to blow the bees out of the, the hives. It's a bee blower. It blows the bees down into this container below there that uh, the boys put them back in front of the hives later on. Uh, the bees in this area have been uh, working the manuka trees. We can notice now that it's all finished flowering. That's when we take the honey off, so we are sure that we get the best quality manuka. You'll notice that uh, the beehives, there's four on a pallet, which they're strapped to that pallet. Then as you work down the hive, usually there's the honey boxes on top, and the bottom box, or the bottom two boxes, are where the queen lays. If you've ever seen a beehive, it has the little hexagons in it. Well, the queen lays in those, and then they form those into little bees. The difference between that and the honey boxes, they fill those little hexagons with honey in the honey boxes. The queen doesn't lay there, so they fill that with honey. You might notice too that there is a, a, what they call a queen excluder there. It's like a little grate. That queen excluder stops the queen from going up into those honey boxes that we store on top and stops her from laying in there. So the honey that's in those boxes is just honey. There's no brood or anything in there. So this helps to keep the honey as pure as possible. After being blown out, the bees return to their hives. With the Manuka flowering season lasting only from September through to December each year, the beekeepers must ensure that their hives are sustained throughout the rest of the year and are full of bees again, ready for the start of the next flowering season.